introduced new athletic director Desiree Reed Francois today. It's a full circle moment for the U of A law graduate. Kega 9's Jason Barr is live at McHale Center on the U of A campus with more. Jason. Pat Heidi, Desiree Reed Francois helped take Missouri athletics out of the red, something she'll try to do here at the University of Arizona. Arizona President Dr. Robbins presenting Desiree Reed Francois with the number 24 jersey to represent this year. She got emotional when she talked about being a mid 90s law school student at the U of A and the empathy of the university community at that time. Providing support when I needed it the most. I am forever grateful. Reed Francois's brother, Roman, had a football accident, leaving him a quadriplegic. During this challenging time, it's my privilege and my duty to give back and help guide the athletic department forward. Reed Francois leaves behind a successful three-year stint as athletic director at the University of Missouri, also giving this reason for the move. It's home. Just quite simply, it's home. She inherits an athletic department running a budget deficit with a hiring freeze that was lifted for her position. This is a critical moment for Arizona athletics. Desiree will play an integral part in developing the strategies and tactics necessary to succeed in this modern era of college athletics. How we cultivate donors is one person at a time. As for Arizona cutting any of its 22 sports, it was a one word answer. No. Reed Francois, who is of Mexican descent, is the first woman to lead Arizona athletics on a permanent basis. But I hope that my future granddaughter, when she is a successful CEO, that she is asked, what is it like to be a successful CEO, not what is it like to be a female CEO? She is exactly what we need right now. My vision is to build upon this storied history and work tirelessly towards a championship future. Yeah, Reed Francois officially begins her new role here on March 3rd. Legendary softball coach Mike Candrea had been the interim AD. Reporting live here at the University of Arizona, I'm Jason Barr, KGA 9. All right, Jason, thank you very much. Like Jason, I was at this morning's news conference at Arizona Stadium introducing Desiree Reed Francois. Afterward, I talked one on one with Arizona women's basketball coach Adia Barnes, who's thrilled with the hire. I'm very excited. Um, I've heard so many great things about her, but just her presence and getting to know her over the last couple of days, um, she's going to lead this department great. And a very powerful, strong woman, so it's great for all the women here especially. And it's a difficult time, obviously, financially. Things are changing so quickly. To have somebody that's had such great success at Mizzou come here now to kind of carry that model here to the University of Arizona. Definitely. I think to have the experience and that has a track record and has been there, done that, is very valuable. And for, um, as a head coach, NIL is so important. And we know what the SEC does. They lead it and they're the best at it, and it's hard to compete with that. So I think that just her bringing that experience and the excitement and the belief in NIL is huge because the bottom line is we don't win with that. And so when you have a president and athletic director that understand that, it helps you win more games because that's the reality of our sports now. The meeting you all had yesterday with her must have gone very well. What was kind of the sentiment? What, did, what was the takeaway with your other colleagues? Well, yeah, so we had two meetings. We had just like a head coach's internal meeting. Great. Because uh, we were able to ask questions in an intimate setting. Then we had an all-staff department meeting. But I think that um, her her heart is here, and you can feel that. And that's what Arizona is about. My heart's here. Yeah. I came back. Erica Barnes, all of us, you know, they've played here. It means a little bit more, and it's more special. So I think you then are more invested. And I think um, also just the leadership and her presence and just the way she speaks. And I think we're all so excited. I walked out of there like, yeah, let's go. She's ready to go. You know, I think you can't underestimate uh, the reason why she came back. Mm -hmm. and, and Adia hit on it there. When, when you're, you know, a wildcat at heart, and uh, you don't forget that Reed Francois was a wildcat in 1997 when they won the national championship in basketball. I think that's a big reason, at least it shaped her future. Yeah, and I, I walked into the newsroom today after you yeah. came back, and I asked you, how was it? The first thing you said to me was you were very impressed I'm by impressed, her. I'm uh, impressed, impressed by her uh, abilities, what she did and the things she said today. We look forward to all the work she's gonna do at the university. Yeah. It's gonna be an exciting yeah, time for athletics.